you get old, uh -huh. then you want to fall in love with somebody. Okay. The person that you might have had that relationship with, you never gave her that window because you were in the middle of being Dave Navarro, the rock star, who is not ready to settle Let down. Let me tell you something. It's got everybody. nothing to do with job title. It's just where I'm at in my life. No, I, your job title. Hey, your job title is is what's putting you in this position. Not necessarily. If, I, if I'm living, you said you travel too much. You're never home. And I've also been work through to a marriage, down. and I also got divorced, and I'm not ready to do that again. But here's the beautiful thing, and I'll just say this: the beautiful, amazing thing about being a human being, at any time you can change your mind about any decision. And if I ever find the one that beats me over the head, I'll fucking do it. Right. But so right you, now, but yeah, but I mean, right now I'm not. I haven't found that, and not necessarily combing the bars looking for it. So you're ex so you're extra nice. You have this style. You have this lifestyle. And when you meet a girl who likes you, you say, "Look, like you. You're hot." Not in this. Uh, in where I am right now, there will not. Don't get your hopes up. Don't think this is going to settle down because I'm I in the middle of doing yeah, something. I else. don't present it that way and don't get your hopes up like I'm some fucking prize. <laughs> I say, here's the reality. Before you fuck you her can, or after, you can make a decision based on this information, and if they decide to go with it, then it's great. This is and the next if they day. Don't, I'm sorry. This is the next day. No, fuck the next day. You don't. Right there. You can't unring a bell. Like if you go out with someone and you're having dinner, and then that conversation turns towards where this could or couldn't be going. Yeah. And and frankly, let's be perfectly fucking honest. You can get a sense of where things are going in the, in the first hour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. If I'm you saying. can't, you're probably fucked. Yeah. So. And to be honest, you you do have a, a to some people a reputation that would precede you to where I don't think women would be assuming that you're all about a long-term relationship. No, and to be honest with you, I mean, I miss out on some probably pretty spectacular women because they have that information, which is, you know, it is what it is. Price you pay. And what are you going to It's price you pay. But the reality is that I'm on tour for, like, you know, nine months out of the year. Even if I wanted to do this, it would be incredibly difficult. I mean, you must have been out touring and doing things while you were married. Yeah. And that's rough. It's rough yeah. on the relationship. And you got kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know what I mean? It's a weird it's a weird thing to fight, for sure. Yeah. So I mean, I don't necessarily want to put myself through that. I don't really want to put anybody else through that. Not right now. It sounds like, we, it sounds like a, a great game plan to me. For the time being. Speaking the, of the but I, thing, but I, but I even I'll better. give you a call it when I'm sixty five going, please let me on the show. I like water sports. I like hiking. <laughs> Is anybody out there? Uh don't make it sound so bad for the rest of them. Speaking of kids, you're not. We were talking about this before you got here. You're not putting yourself in a position where you could have unplanned kids. No, no, no. Rub no, us no, all no, the no. time. All the time. Do you ever just get blowjobs and then tell them to leave? <laughs> no. You yeah, just but I always, say I always end up staying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to catch you guys terrestrial radio show. Um, no, no, no. I mean, you know, it, you, we, look for the, for, the sake of, for the sake of the, of the conversation. We're on a satellite radio show. We're hyping everything up to be funny and to be comical about it. But the reality is, is like, you know, I'm just a fucking dude and I'm honest and the people I hang out with know the story and know what's up and that's that. And I feel pretty spiritually correct in the way I live my life. And that's ultimately what I plan to do. And if I offended you with an interview we did, again, I apologize. And this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I was, I received a tweet yesterday. Heard you fucked with my boy Kevin on the, you know, on Sirius. Who <laughs> said that? I don't know. Somebody. I mean, this whole, this whole reason I'm sitting here, which I would like to fucking thank you by the way for showing up, <laughs> is it ridiculous? I'm like I, the whole day. I'm like, day, I'm like, yeah, sure, David. Well, no, be, I wanted to make it. I wanted to make it right because I felt that we were just kind of brotherly and like fucking with each other. He's very touchy. If he took it personally, <laughs> then I wanted to make it right. So it's gonna go I, a long I way. I got a hold of him and I was like, hey man, I'm really sorry. If there's anything I can do, make it up to you. And that's kind of how I live my life. And so. If you want to take away the comedy and the nature of radio and like the entertainment value of what we're talking about and say, okay, this is the way that I basically <laughs> live my life this way. And, you know, Kevin was a cool dude. He did a great job. And I felt bad if he was upset. And I wanted to let him know that ultimately on this planet and to other people, he matters. I think every girl that has sex with Dave Navarro falls in love with him and just <laughs> instantly tries to fucking plan a way to get him in. And, I don't and know keep about him. that. Man. I don't. I don't know if I agree with you on that one. I you, mean, I think. I think. You know. I mean, I think people get it with you. I've seen you out at clubs and stuff like that. And I don't presume to understand every detail of your life, but mm. there's just some. There's a certain type of woman around L.A. that I think tends to throw herself at you. And I don't think if that kind of woman gets her heart broken, then she's breaking her own heart. 
It's possible. I mean, you know. Well, and I, that, and, that, and that, I don't same, think you're responsible for the it. The same goes for me, though, for going after the kinds of girls that I go after. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, the reality is I just go after the hot girls. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so if I'm expecting more than I'm looking for, you know, and then I find myself hurt over it, who's to blame? Me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But my, my point about bringing Kevin into this is that if this is the links that I'll go to to make it right with Kevin, you can be pretty goddamn sure that the people I have intimate relationships with, I'm pretty fucking honest and stand up. Right. He's hot, he's hot Mike. I want yeah, to yeah. go out with him. By the way, I just want to clear one thing up real quick. Yeah, you're a fag? I never went crying to you. <laughs> you fucking did. No, I didn't. You came in here and said, I fucking did not. Dana Burford called me a fag. And I was like, you better fucking check yourself. Dana Burford said... calls me a fag. I'm like, you shut the fuck up or we're going. You know, I said, what did you say? You said, you didn't say anything. I'm, I I'm made like, a few comments to Will off the air when, when we, were, we were just bullshitting. He wanted to talk but about it. You made a comment to he Will wanted... that isn't even real. The guy was fucking really nice to you the whole time. I told him I told you I didn't for your age. The yeah. Who the hell is behind my back? Just take the fire at any time. It on me. And he's dead in his spare time. He's fucking giving you compliments about your fucking looks. And, the, and then you turn it into, he called me a faggot. <laughs> you didn't even say fag, you said faggot! You did, you said the, the Take words the right the bus. I'm really disappointed in Kevin, I have to say, because... <laughs> <laughs> because, number one, I w he, when he told me this, when he, say, he calls me fag, I was like, dude, well, you know what, if this is true, then I, this guy can't come here anymore. That's right. He, that's abuse. You and can't call uh, come fat it's a hate crime. It's it's a hate crime. It is a hate crime. You so, hate crime. So, 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 have you seen this guy throw a ball? He is gay. So so listen, this guy, uh, uh, Dave Navarro, he didn't plan to be on the radio. This isn't some show of like, hey, I'm gonna go pretend like I'm nice. He just privately said, hey, uh, dude, I'm very sorry if I, you know, it turned into a radio thing. But he, he's just telling Kevin, I'm sorry if I offended you. That's the guy I was about to ban from the building because of Kevin. I will give you this, oh, though. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to hear any more of your bullshit lies. Of course you don't. Know. Hey, but I'll give you this. Why the hell because I speak because you're so gay and so temperamental, <laughs> you've somehow tricked Dave Navarro into coming in here and doing an hour of radio on our show. So like good him. job. This is what I said to him. <laughs> Fucking well produced, Mr. Producer. Because we weren't going to get his ass in here. No, exactly. See, I produced the way M. Night Shyamalan directs a movie. You know what? Get the fucking dog collars. I fucking hate you, dude. You're such a bitch. Get all the dog collars. Dave's going to be a fun time. You want to electrocute somebody? Say again? Do you I, want, I don't understand what that is. Yes. Put dog collars on him and we just electrocute the yeah, fuck absolutely. out of him. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good it. time. It's a great time. You, you can like, pick excited. a limb and then you can be in charge of it. Fantastic. Yeah. You should get a kendo stick and do... Body pig punches as well. Are we allowed to kendo stick people anymore? No, and let's not kendo stick him. Let's just hold his arms back with kendo sticks while we punch him. Get a boxing glove, Schumacher. We're gonna electrocute you. <laughs> Dave right, is gonna electrocute you while I give you body pig oh, punches. Shit. Right, Dave, 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 you gotta pick the limb. Pick the limb. And cock so around limbs. the thigh. Yeah. Put yeah. it on the thigh. Work. Fucking Dave is, is a the thigh bad. It's a, you <laughs> fucking you know, it's great. Dave, right, you're one. a vicious man. <laughs> well, no, 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 I don't want to go. If that's too much. No, no, it's cool. All right. I had it on my cock teeth and asshole the other day. God. Put it on his clit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does have a big fat one. I actually electrocuted his clit yesterday. Dude, I just undid all this. Why are you? <laughs> was it yesterday? <laughs> Wait, what's this? What's this for? It's a kendo stick. What does that do? You hit people with it. Wow. It's fun. You guys are not fucking around in here. Nah, no, one time no, me no. and Forrest Griffin hit each other with it for like half an hour. Fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't walk probably the next day. I lost. All right, so what is this? You push this and then you have to let go the amount of... How much time goes... Oh, with just till you yeah, feel you just, like you fucking, you've had enough. You see the little dial, the 1 through 10. Uh, that I don't want to electrocute <laughs> Kevin. Oh, uh, Piss off, oh, Navarro! He's such a nice guy. Fuck yeah, yeah. see? Right. I'm such a nice guy. I walked in here, I was an asshole. I was a hate crime committing <laughs> asshole. Now I thought I'm a nice guy from everybody in the room. I don't even want to electrocute this guy. He seriously was accused of a hate crime. Yesterday. I really was! <laughs> it's amazing! Like the, guy, the guy said you looked incredibly youthful, and you told me that he, he, I he, really, he hate crime I, I admire your outfit. You look youthful. 
don't bother getting up and letting guests in here because your job's the board. I don't want you going out in the cold. He could be the friendliest guy that's ever been on the fucking show. Potentially catching a nasty cold out there, Kevin. Even said I don't to me, want that. You didn't say Even that. said to me on the way out. <laughs> even wanted to know what kind of moisturizer he was using on the way out Who after he left the show. Dave, was Kevin so, so youthful. You took, the, you took that, that sarcasm, didn't you? Oil of Olay. I don't even remember that one. <laughs> you didn't even hear it. All you heard was faggot. Which didn't even happen. Never said the word faggot. I could have sworn it did. We Never. don't do that. Could, really? Wait, when? Never what, said what, what, the word faggot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now you're saying, he, yes, He's Jay Navarro did Wait, call you a faggot. I thought I thought he did, yeah. Which button uh, is the electrification the button? button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've changed yeah. my mind. We're going to electrocute Hey, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, so how long do I, just, I go I for? Just press it one time. And you're okay press with this? Really? You were so upset, and now I'm electrocuting you. <laughs> That's how this show works, man. This doesn't seem like it's it's evening the Push the goddamn button, Dave. You wasted your time. Here we go. <laughs> Should I let go now? <laughs> oh, you had it on no, the whole <laughs> I am ser I am seriously curious. Uh, what like sentence do you remember him saying that included? Wait, the word did that really like, electrocute you? Really you? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is for animals. Let me say it. Oh, uh, you gave it to the. <laughs> oh no! Okay, now try. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, here, turn it up. Here, oh. give it a go. Dude, oh. we gotta get one of these for your kids. <laughs> I know. No, Sorry. he's been electrocuted twice. I can't do it twice. I can't do it to him. It's Did on 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. That's how I roll. Shit. What does this one do? Nothing. That's just the other one. See what happens. Pretending to press it. Oh, it's the worst. Ah! All yeah. right, all right. I think he's... Hey, we're good. All right. You want to hit him with a kendo stick? No. Do you want no. me to? There's no way to hit him with this without getting an erection. You go ahead. You'll get an erection? Will it do anything to my blood? Jokes, buddy. Oh, oh wow, my look at God! That. I know. Dave, do you have any advice for this guy? He is single. Doesn't look so youthful after all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I got a fat donut, look. You got, you got, a, you got a faggot stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Your stomach looks like, a, looks like a faggot. Okay, I'm not going to use that word anymore. People are going to get pissed. You know what sucks is that's basically a result of sitting at a desk and generating a great show for all the people that you work with. Oh, now you're landing on a little thing. Yeah, that's... <laughs> let's put the color on, Dave. <laughs> hours, of hard, hours of hard work making everybody else sound great. You want to you wear like, the color? I like that phrasing better. So we, we really need to sort this out. Did he or did he not call you the F-bomb? I thought he did. You're stating... It, where still where just, in that... Because I, I did convey the way that whole thing went. I, Where did the faggot I remember that from? being right before you telling me that I suck dicks. I just doesn't say, I don't use that word. It just that's a little too locker does he, room. Does he me. ever use does that it? word? You don't seem like you come, uh, come across like that. No, no, no. Because it just seems a little like... It's it's very rough. You don't seem like a guy that's trying to offend the gay community. No. Man. Are you kidding me? I wear makeup on a nightly basis every show. I've been You're accused, pretty fucking gay. I've been accused yeah. of being bi. gay for... for Fucking twenty years. We all, Plus, he, he wouldn't he, call him a faggot to his face, like a real fag, to his face. <laughs> he would say it behind his back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait till we got in the car on the way home. That guy was a faggot. <laughs> See how fat that fag was in the. <laughs> what? Do you believe that fag? <laughs> hey, gay bashing in the privacy of your own home is totally yeah, different story. It is. Yeah. That's why no, it's just like. Singing along to uh, Grave Diggers in the privacy of your own home. Maybe no, that's such I, a good idea in the car. Sincerely, we, we thought that... I mean, that was the weird part, because I got this tweet from one of your listeners, or one of your listeners, yeah. and I was like... The way I responded to him was like, we all thought he was awesome. Like, you know, the guy fucking was a pro. Usually we have to bash our engineer at the other place, because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Right. And I was like, we're going to bash you, because anything that goes wrong, even if I say something wrong, I'm going to blame you. And he's like, yeah, cool. And it was the smoothest operation. It wasn't even yeah cool. It was, yeah cool. I get it all the time. I'm that guy for every show that I'm on. I get it all. The time. He and, for, he for, and we didn't need to because it was perfect. And I was like, yeah, I feel terrible because we thought he was awesome. We thought he was a pro. He was done with the show on Halloween and was going home to cut up more shows. Like he was still working when he got home. I was like, that guy's a fucking pro, man. He's all right. And then I found out that I upset him. I got felt really bad. I'm going to go to the phones now for the final decision on whether Dave Navarro is a cocksucker or not. Fair enough. This is official right here on the Jason Isles Show. Dave, as I've said, said nasty things about... You know, I didn't say fuck it, I want you to die or anything. I, it's, I just... Well, I can't remember what I... What have I said? 
fuck him, fuck, fuck his just, goatee or something. Fuck you, fuck off. Fuck off, yeah. yeah. Fuck him. Fuck that guy. He fucks everybody. Fuck that guy. I don't, I'm not fucking anybody. I can handle but that. But a cocksucker. Buy a shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all that. But <laughs> have I always said, when the fucking real check comes in, have I always said it? When the real check comes in, when I am solidified as a legitimate celebrity, I will now, I will come in with a vest on every fucking day. Said that, stated it, backing it, we'll do it. When you Soon attain a level is, of fame to stop wearing shirts is sort of your due. There's, like, a good, there's a good chance, Dave, that in the near future you're going to be out one night and you're yeah. going to be like, hey, that's that fucking radio cocksucker. And I was in like, a vest? M m I, that or maybe no t-shirt at all, just fucking boom. What up, Navarro? Let's fuck some whores. What, what about <laughs> vest, no shirt? Eiffel Tower, right here, ladies. I got an Eiffel Tower going right now. <laughs> New guy with no t-shirt on with Navarro. Who wants some? Remember, I don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try that. All right. I'm going to try this way I'm going to Vegas. I'm, cause I'm now... I think that you're ultimately too sensitive for it, though. I really do. To, to be cold. Yeah. I think you're fucking spot on, I Dave. I think you are. I think you're fucking spot on. I can't handle... I fall in love too easy. Do you really? Well, but, you, but you've been out of your thing for two months. I've been in love with three people my whole life. Oh, see? You're yeah. romantic. I am a romantic. I was in love one, like one whole hardcore time, and I got married, and the marriage was cool. It ended the way it ended, and that's cool. But you know what? A lot of people <laughs> talk about marriages being successful or failures, or mm. if it doesn't last forever, it's a failure. Like, mm. I totally disagree with that. Right. I think that if you if you grew as a person, if you had a good time, if you yep. learned, if you evolved, yeah. it's a fucking successful thing. Okay, now I completely like him. Yes. <laughs> I was there. Yeah, you're cool, but I don't want to hang out with you. Now I want to hang out with you. He's a really cool know. dude. He's got the you. ultimate optimistic. Yes, it was a great fucking wedding, a great marriage. Yeah, we made two beautiful you fucking kids. kids. Exactly. We're, we're still friends. We love each other. Perfect. I would love to bone her, but I can't because it's gonna fuck with my mind. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to my penis. I'm going to penis rehab. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna fix that shit because I'm a lover. I can't handle it. You're yeah, right, yeah, Dave. Yeah. You're cold, man. I don't think I'm cold. I think I'm honest. Let's go to the phones. We got some phones oh, yeah. lit up. <laughs> Hello, Jason L. Show. We are on with Dave Navarro, who's not a whore, and he doesn't Kevin love you. Kevin's a liar, and Dave Navarro, you are in the clear. There it is. Hey, we'll go. So we'll much, go my three. We'll go. The, the first to three is the official on uh, Comfort being a cocksucker and Dave Navarro being a sweet guy. Hello, Jason L. Show. Yeah, I want to uh, weigh in on uh, whether or not he's a cocksucker, Dave Navarro. Yes, yes sir. I think he's a musical genius. He was married to Carmen Electra. I'd have to say, not a cocksucker. Right. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, the musical. You are. You are a musical genius. I will give you that as I well. But it I'm not trying to add that because that's not fair. You can't get out of. You can't be a nice guy because Listen, you're really good at playing. Just because music. I had my dad call in on behalf and make this vote. For and me. he's hilarious. Dad, Check out his much. satellite radio show where there's more. High level antics such High as that jinx. last one right there. <laughs> I gotta I, let me let me thank your listeners, man. First of all, thank you for the time, and thanks to your listeners for the the, and thanks to Kevin for. You're not in the clear. Yeah, you've me. only got two votes, Dave. You said two out of three. That's two. No, no, three. The first one, first of, three. one of three. Oh, okay, first one of three. Hello, Jason Ellis Show. Howdy. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good. How is Dave Navarro? Dave Navarro, Dave Navarro is not a cocksucker and cock down. You hit like girl. Right. Uh, what did he say? I'm a ghost? Three. Oh, wow. He's hitting him now. Oh, oh wow. wow. Shit. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, you... Don't be mean to my fucking celebrity guest ever again. <laughs> All right? Let me see. I'll, I'll tell you this, Kevin. Oh. I've never seen a faggot take that kind of beating. <laughs> took that shit like a man. Like a fucking man, dude. <laughs> Oh, you guys are awesome, man. Thank you so much for having Thanks, me, Dan. Man. I really appreciate it. I'm, uh, I'm hanging out with Mike McGrath. He's trying to push me to be, uh, this, to make an appearance because I'm in a band. Oh, yeah. Death, Death, Die and all to, that uh, shit. Camp Freddy? <laughs> yeah, you got to do it, dude. It's very Every... intimidated by, uh, no, dude, we're by Dave Navarro and, and Mike McGrath. We're homies now. We do it every, uh, it's coming up at the Roxy in LA, uh, every, I forget what day, but, uh, it's. I think your Friday's in December. Friday's yeah. in December. We're coming. You gotta do it, dude. Uh, we're coming, we're going. Well, I need, I need to know the song, like, now. Yeah. <laughs> Once you guys give I'm me. I'm gonna your, go to the recording studio for the next two months. Give me your months. information before I go out of here, and then, uh, when it comes, hook me, I'll hook you guys up, and it'll be. It'll What's your, uh, sh your satellite show? How do you watch that? When's it on? It's on mohik.com, and it's, uh, it's the guys that used to be at Indie that went over and branched over and went, did an internet station and uh, it's Wednesdays from 9 to 11 
And it's just, uh, we got, you know, cameras and streaming video and Skype callers and the whole thing. Is that it's, spread radio? No. It's uh, it's called dark matter radio. Gotcha. Cool, I'm man. fucking happy Research. right now, dude. I'm happy that you pulled off getting him in here, and I'm happy that he's not a dick. It's just <laughs> so much cooler it. to know that you're walking around. Like, every time I see him, I'll be like, hey, it's all right. He's cool. It's a motherfucker. 